All right, so I'm going to take this time with this plushie real quick to plug our Patreon, because for this month only, we're going to have an exclusive Godzilla poster print from Godzilla vs. Biollante that I made. So, if you guys would be interested in this, it is going to be a 18 by 24 inch poster, only available for this month only, uh, but for the same donation bracket as the $15 one. It's just going to be what replaces the standard print for this month. More as a thank you for everybody that has been a part of Patreon. And if you guys also join Patreon, you will be able to get this print as well. So uh, definitely follow the link in the description if you guys would be interested. There's also other tier brackets and we're also going to hopefully be having t-shirts as well. I got a couple prints down, but uh, gonna wait till I get at least one more done before we move any farther with that. Then I gotta find a place to actually have them through. <laughs> so anyways, uh. Onto the review. Here I just look at Super Mario Bros. Reviews. My name's Steve. I'm Jessica. And today I'll be going over the Sega Anime Godzilla plushie. This is from the 2017 Netflix anime that isn't on Netflix yet. <laughs> but it has come out to the Japanese side. Uh, we should be getting the SC Spawn Starts here sometime in the near future too. So as a uh, appetizer to that review, I thought we could maybe go over this guy. Plus we get some requests for doing more of the plushies that I have in my collection. Since this guy's pretty much brand new and... Freaking huge, by the way. Figured we'd go over this guy first. But sadly, even though he's the biggest Godzilla, he's not the biggest Godzilla. Well, I think he's about the same size as most of our other Godzilla plushies. Yeah. In terms of height. He's about the same height from what it looks like as the Toy Vault and my uh, Zilla. But he's kind of bigger than most of the other guys. He might be a tiny bit longer, though. But Yeah, like definitely lengthwise. He's got a bit of a tail on him. But we'll go over that here in just a second. But without further ado, for his packaging, uh, he comes in a plastic bag. Yeah, he came. <laughs> uh, but for his tag, anyways, it's actually pretty tiny. But it has the anime Godzilla poster picture that you see on a lot of products. And on the back, a bunch of stuff I can't understand. Some 2017 Godzilla and Sega. So are we going to be keeping the tag on this guy, dear? I'd like to, like the rest of them that I've been buying recently. Yeah, but some of them don't have tags, and Gabbara's is, like, next to destroyed. <laughs> yeah. After all the videos. So, I could see us taking out this tag here, but I guess for now we'll just leave it on. Probably but, keep it even if we do take it off. Yep. Eventually. <laughs> but for a closer look at his details. So, for his head sculpt, super terrifying, yet adorable, all at the same time. <laughs> Except he has these white, soulless eyes, which are just... Uh, little round, half rounded plastic, which kind of gives it that more like marble appearance. Yeah, but it still looks pretty cool. Uh, definitely a little bit more GMK though, in my opinion, <laughs> than anime Godzilla. Like, I don't like. Could they maybe gotten some pupils on here though? Just like a little dot. That, I think that would be horrifying. <laughs> more horrifying. <laughs> well, I think they should have had though that Shin Godzilla plushie we had because that guy also has just like little soulless eyes as well. But yeah. that one's by Bandai. Same as that. Pretty much. Uh, but for the stitching, for the most part, it looks pretty solid on this guy. Well, you can see here for his nose, it's just a bunch of tiny little stitches to form the nose. You got the little crest on the front section here. His teeth are made out of a hard foam, but are the exact same color as the body, which is pretty much a grayish blue color. Kind of like a slate color. Yeah, which is odd for Godzilla. As a Godzilla, because usually it's like charcoal black, sometimes leaning towards green. This one is definitely more of the blue shade. But you got a little bit of eyebrows on the top section here. His dorsal spines are pretty tiny, but more for the most part, the more traditional Godzilla patterns on the back here with the giant maple leaf looking things. Uh, you get three sectioned rows, which these are made out of the same material as the teeth or just a harder foam but comes to a single section once it hits the tail which the tail is just something i kind of expect to see more on dinosaur toys and plushies the way the dorsal spines are on the tail sectioning here or even just like zilla it's kind of odd to see it on him but then again like i'm not exactly sure how the spines look on the tail section for this guy anyway since i don't have the monster it's or Literally any other figures of the guy in yet. But speaking of his tail section, it's got a lot of stitching here too for the more armored segmentation of the tail. But what's nice too is with the tail is that it's stuffed very nicely and pretty much the entire plushie is stuffed pretty full in general. So if you mess around with the tail, 
it's still going to bend back to its spots. Uh, but no wires, though, so no real articulation for the tail. But it's just nice to see that it's not going to go limp on you eventually. It's pretty, pretty well packed in there. And nothing really going on with the tip or on the bottom of the tail. It's just more smooth, bluish-gray fabric. And he's got his little Godzilla claws, which a little bit of fuzz on. But you get three claws. Like, to me, I call it foam, but it's more like really thick fabric for the claws. But it's just very pliable, very sturdy. And you got some stitching here for the in-between sections of his fingers. But he has a gigantic thumb. Opposite side, pretty much more of the same. Uh, a little bit more fuzz over here. Uh, the only real part I'm noticing where he's got some, like, extra uh, stitch kind of hanging out is right here on the back of his hind leg. Oh, yeah, I didn't realize. I didn't see that. But for the most part, that's really all I've seen, which all that really requires is just, like, a little snip with the scissors. Uh, for his chest section, very puffy and bulky, and I do like that they added some stitch here to help define his... Uh, pecs <laughs> on the front section here and then moving down his legs he has four gigantic claws which this is actually stuffed fabric for each of the claws here on the bottom section giant feet and overall uh yeah pretty happy with the guy like stitch work seems really nice just kind of wish maybe it had like maybe some wires just so you could pose them a little bit would have been kind of cool but for the most part, still looks pretty menacing overall. So for some quick comparisons here, he has compared next to some other plushies in my collection with the Bandai Shin Godzilla and the Toy Vault Godzilla. Which, uh, Godzilla's actually slightly taller. But, as you guys can see if I turn him sideways, eh, it's about the same length. Yeah. To be honest, actually, technically, I think this Godzilla might have a little bit more. It's not as thick, but he's definitely bulkier <laughs> as Shin Godzilla goes down but still a pretty good size but definitely uh Toy Ball Godzilla's got a little bit more detail going on but then again older plushy to be expected and here is credit next to the I think it's a Treadmaster <laughs> the plushy Zilla and the Toy Vault Gabara actually real quick uh he still has a little thing down here just says TriStar that'll help me oh Equity Toys from Los Angeles, California. Actually, just recently found this guy at a vintage toy store. <laughs> kind of sad he's missing a little bit of paint here, but not complaining too much, especially for five bucks. And here's compared next to the Toy Vault Angerus and Ebra. And here's some anime plushies with the, I believe it's an Aniplex Guts from Kill la Kill and the Anitri-X. Uh, Ryooki from Tenchi Buyo. And here is compared next to some kid robot plushies with the chest burster and face hugger with little happy face in the bottom. No, it's not. It's kind of happy. That's an angry face. That's that face like he's looking for love in all the wrong places. So overall with the Sega Godzilla 2017 anime plushie, I think he's really good. Uh, how much did you pay for him? Uh, about 40 bucks off Amazon. Yeah, that doesn't really seem all that bad, especially for an import plushie. Uh, he's stuffed very well. I like the stitching. It conveys the uh, the character very nicely in plushie form. Then he's just super soft and cuddly. And who doesn't like that with their Godzilla? Yeah, also, I was kind of surprised that I got it so soon. And the two out of the three ornaments to go with that are on their way too. And I'm just kind of surprised that I got it before Christmas, honestly. Yeah, uh, not sure if we're going to do a review of the plushies, but I do have the Estes Monster Arts coming in soon. So I look forward to that review sometime in the near future. Uh, definitely check out our Instagram and Facebook because it'll probably pop up on there before it pops up on here. But yeah, if you guys like to collect uh, Godzilla plushies, then don't miss out on the, well, technically biggest Godzilla of them all. Yeah, it, you don't want to probably wait too long because I got... Literally the Shin Godzilla ornament ones and they went up and you know pretty bad price so Yeah, I can imagine The Shin plush Shin big plush he went up really drastically, too So you probably don't want to wait too long. Yeah, just the plushies in general unless they're stateside plushies tend to Go up very much. It's like just kind of like most of the like not reissue as monsters figures 
So what do you guys think? Have you guys picked up this plushie? What's your favorite 2017 collectible or suit actress this morning? Think, please let us know in the comments. We won't have closer pictures of this guy on our Facebook because it's a plushie. Uh, so, but you can still go check out Facebook. We also have a Patreon account with exclusive prints for the channel. Also down in the description. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting the like button. Subscribe, become a ranger today. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.